The Neil Gerald Swift Observatory, previously called the Swift Gamma Ray Burst Mission, is a NASA space telescope designed to detect gamma ray bursts (GRBs). It was launched on November 20, 2004, aboard a Delta II rocket. Headed by Principal Investigator Neil Gerrels, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, the mission was developed in a joint partnership between Goddard and an international consortium from the United States, United Kingdom, and Italy. The mission is operated by Pennsylvania State University as part of NASA's Medium Explorers Program MIDEX. Topic. Overview SWIFT is a multi-wavelength space observatory dedicated to the study of gamma-ray bursts. Its three instruments work together to observe GRBs and their afterglows in the gamma-ray, X-ray, ultraviolet, and optical wavebands. Based on continuous scans of the area of the sky with one of the instrument's monitors, SWIFT uses momentum wheels to autonomously slew into the direction of possible GRBs. The name, SWIFT is not a mission-related acronym, but rather a reference to the instrument's rapid slew capability, and the nimble bird of the same name. All of SWIFT's discoveries are transmitted to the ground and those data are available to other observatories which join SWIFT in observing the GRBs. In the time between GRB events, SWIFT is available for other scientific investigations, and scientists from universities and other organizations can submit proposals for observations. The SWIFT Mission Operations Center MOC, where commanding of the satellite is performed, is located in State College, Pennsylvania and operated by the Pennsylvania State University and industry subcontractors. The SWIFT main ground station is located at the Broglio Space Center near Malindi on the coast of eastern Kenya, and is operated by the Italian Space Agency. The SWIFT Science Data Center SDC and Archive are located at the Goddard Space Flight Center outside Washington, D.C. The UK SWIFT Science Data Centre is located at the University of Leicester. The SWIFT spacecraft bus was built by Spectrum Astro, which was later acquired by General Dynamics Advanced Information Systems, which was in turn acquired by Orbital Sciences Corporation now Orbital ATK. Topic. Instruments Topic. Burst Alert Telescope BAT. The BAT detects GRB events and computes its coordinates in the sky. It covers a large fraction of the sky over one steradian fully coated, three steradians partially coated. By comparison, the full sky solid angle is 4 pi or about 12.6 steradians. It locates the position of each event with an accuracy of 1 to 4 arc minutes within 15 seconds. This crude position is immediately relayed to the ground, and some wide-field, rapid slew ground-based telescopes can catch the GRB with this information. The BAT uses a coated aperture mask of 52,000 randomly placed 5 mm lead tiles, 1 m above a detector plane of 32,768 4 mm CDZ NTE hard X-ray detector tiles, it is purpose-built for SWIFT. Energy range, 15 to 150 keV. Topic. X-ray telescope XRT. The XRT can take images and perform spectral analysis of the GRB afterglow. This provides more precise location of the GRB, with a typical error circle of approximately 2 arcseconds radius. The XRT is also used to perform long-term monitoring of GRB afterglow light curves for days to weeks after the event, depending on the brightness of the afterglow. The XRT uses a Wolter Type 1 X-ray telescope with 12 nested mirrors, focused onto a single MOS charge coupled device CCD, similar to those used by the XMM Newton Epic MOS cameras. Onboard software allows fully automated observations, with the instrument selecting an appropriate observing mode for each object, based on its measured count rate. The telescope has an energy range of 0.2 to 10 keV. Ultraviolet, Optical Telescope UVOT. After SWIFT has slewed towards a GRB, the UVOT is used to detect an optical afterglow. The UVOT provides a sub-arcsecond position and provides optical and ultraviolet photometry through lenticular filters and low-resolution spectra 170 to 650 nanometers through the use of its optical and UV grisms. 
The UVOT is also used to provide long-term follow-ups of GRB afterglow light curves. The UVOT is based on the XMM Newton Missions Optical Monitor OM instrument, with improved optics and upgraded onboard processing computers. On November 9, 2011, UVOT photographed the asteroid 2005 YU55 as the asteroid made a close flyby of the Earth. On June 3, 2013, UVOT unveiled a massive ultraviolet survey of the nearby Magellanic Clouds. Topic: <laughs> Mission Goals. The SWIFT mission has four key scientific objectives to determine the origin of GRBs. There seem to be at least two types of GRBs, only one of which can be explained with a hypernova, creating a gamma-ray beam. More data is needed to explore other explanations. To use GRBs to expand understanding of the young universe. GRBs seem to take place at cosmological distances of many millions or billions of light years, which means they can be used to probe the distant, and therefore young, cosmos. To conduct an all-sky survey which will be more sensitive than any previous one, and will add significantly to scientific knowledge of astronomical X-ray sources. Thus, it could also yield unexpected results. To serve as a general-purpose gamma-ray, X-ray, optical observatory platform, performing rapid target of opportunity observations of many transient astrophysical phenomena, such as supernovae. Topic. Mission history SWIFT was launched on November 20, 2004, at 1716 Coordinated Universal Time aboard a Delta II 7320-10C from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and reached a near-perfect orbit of 585 times 604 kilometers 364 times 375 miles altitude, with an inclination of 20.6 degrees. On December 4, an anomaly occurred during instrument activation when the thermoelectric cooler tech power supply for the X-ray telescope did not turn on as expected. The XRT team at Leicester and Penn State University were able to determine on December 8 that the XRT would be usable even without the tech being operational. Additional testing on December 16 did not yield any further information as to the cause of the anomaly. On December 17 at 7 hours 28 minutes and 30 seconds Coordinated Universal Time, the Swift Burst Alert Telescope BAT, triggered and located on board an apparent gamma-ray burst during launch and early operations. The spacecraft did not autonomously slew to the burst since normal operation had not yet begun, and autonomous slewing was not yet enabled. SWIFT had its first GRB trigger during a period when the autonomous slewing was enabled on January 17, 2005, at about 12.55 Coordinated Universal Time. It pointed the XRT telescope to the onboard computed coordinates and observed a bright X-ray source in the field of view. On February 1, 2005, the mission team released the first light picture of the UVOT instrument and declared SWIFT operational. By May 2010, SWIFT had detected more than 500 GRBs. By October 2013, SWIFT had detected more than 800 GRBs. On October 27, 2015, SWIFT detected its 1,000th GRB, an event named GRB 151027b and located in the constellation Eridanus. On January 10, 2018, NASA announced that the SWIFT spacecraft had been renamed the Neil Gerrels Swift Observatory in honor of Mission Pi Neil Gerrels, who died in early. 2017. Topic: Notable detections. May 9, 2005, Swift detected GRB 050509b, a burst of gamma rays that lasted 1/20th of a second. The detection marked the first time that the accurate location of a short-duration gamma-ray burst had been identified and the first detection of X-ray afterglow in an individual short burst. September 4, 2005, SWIFT detected GRB 050904 with a redshift value of 6.29 and a duration of 200 seconds most of the detected bursts last about 10 seconds. It was also found to be the most distant yet detected, at approximately 12.6 billion light-years. 
February 18, 2006, Swift detected GRB 060218, an unusually long about 2000 seconds and nearby about 440 million light years burst, which was unusually dim despite its close distance, and may be an indication of an imminent supernova. June 14, 2006, Swift detected GRB 060614, a burst of gamma rays that lasted 102 seconds in a distant galaxy about 1.6 billion light years. No supernova was seen following this event and GRB 060505 to deep limits leading some to speculate that it represented a new class of progenitors. Others suggested that these events could have been massive star deaths, but ones which produced too little radioactive 56 Ni to power a supernova explosion. January 9, 2008, Swift was observing a supernova in NGC 2770 when it witnessed an X-ray burst coming from the same galaxy. The source of this burst was found to be the beginning of another supernova, later called SN 2008D. Never before had a supernova been seen at such an early stage in its evolution. Following this stroke of luck position, time, most appropriate instruments, astronomers were able to study in detail this type IBC supernova with the Hubble Space Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, the Very Large Array in New Mexico, the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii, Gemini South in Chile, the Keck Eye Telescope in Hawaii, the 1.3 m PAIRITEL Telescope at Mount Hopkins, the 200-inch and 60-inch telescopes at the Palomar Observatory in California, and the 3.5 meter telescope at the Apache Point Observatory in New Mexico. The significance of this supernova was likened by Discovery Team leader Alicia Soderberg to that of the Rosetta Stone for Egyptology. February 8 and 13, 2008, Swift provided critical information about the nature of Hani's Vorwerp, mainly the absence of an ionizing source within the Vorwerp or in the neighboring IC 2497. March 19, 2008, Swift detected GRB 080319b, a burst of gamma rays amongst the brightest celestial objects ever witnessed. At 7.5 billion light years, Swift established a new record for the farthest object briefly visible to the naked eye. It was also said to be 2.5 million times intrinsically brighter than the previous brightest accepted supernova SN 2005 app. Swift observed a record four GRBs that day, which also coincided with the death of noted science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke. September 13, 2008, Swift detected GRB 080913, at the time the most distant GRB observed 12.8 billion light years until the observation of GRB 090423 a few months later. April 23, 2009, Swift detected GRB 090423, the most distant cosmic explosion ever seen at that time, at 13.035 billion light years. In other words, the universe was only 630 million years old when this burst occurred. April 29, 2009, Swift detected GRB 090429b, which was found by later analysis published in 2011 to be 13.14 billion light years distant, approximately equivalent to 520 million years after the Big Bang, even farther than GRB 090423. March 16, 2010, Swift tied its record by again detecting and localizing four bursts in a single day. April 13, 2010, Swift detected its 500th GRB. March 28, 2011, Swift detected Swift J1644 plus 57 which subsequent analysis showed to possibly be the signature of a star being disrupted by a black hole or the ignition of an active galactic nucleus. This is truly different from any explosive event we have seen before said Joshua Bloom of the University of California at Berkeley, the lead author of the study published in the June issue of Science. September 16 and 17, 2012, BAT triggered two times on a previously unknown hard X-ray source, named SWJ174526, a few degrees from the galactic center. The outburst, produced by a rare X-ray nova, announced the presence of a previously unknown stellar mass black hole undergoing a dramatic transition from the low, hard to the high, soft state. 2013, discovery of ultra-long class of gamma-ray bursts April 24, 2013, Swift detected an X-ray flare from the galactic center. This proved not to be related to SGRA asterisk but to a previously unsuspected magnetar. 
Later observations by the New Star and the Chandra X-ray Observatory confirmed the detection. April 27, 2013, SWIFT detected the shockingly bright gamma ray burst GRB130427 A. Observed simultaneously by the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, it is one of the five closest GRBs detected and one of the brightest seen by either space telescope. June 3, 2013, evidence for kilonova emission in short GRB April 23, 2014, SWIFT detected the strongest, hottest, and longest-lasting sequence of stellar flares ever seen from a nearby red dwarf star. The initial blast from this record-setting series of explosions was as much as 10,000 times more powerful than the largest solar flare ever recorded. May 3, 2014, detection of a UV pulse from an IPTF discovered young type Ia SN June to July 2015, the brown dwarf OGLE 2015 BLG 1319 was discovered using the gravitational microlensing detection method in a joint effort between Swift, Spitzer, and the ground based optical gravitational lensing experiment, the first time two space telescopes have observed the same microlensing event. This method was possible because of the large separation between the two spacecraft. Swift is in low Earth orbit while Spitzer is more than one astronomical unit distant in an Earth trailing heliocentric orbit. This separation provided significantly different perspectives of the brown dwarf, allowing for constraints to be placed on some of the object's physical characteristics. October 27, 2015, Swift detected its 1000th gamma ray burst, GRB 151027b. August 18, 2017, SWIFT discovers UV emission from the kilonova at 2017 GFO, the electromagnetic counterpart to GW170817. September 23, 2017, SWIFT is the first to identify TXS 0506 plus 056 as the possible source of the IceCube 170922A extremely high energy neutrinos. See also List of gamma ray bursts Space Variable Objects Monitor SVMOS, the planned successor of SWIFT List of X-ray space telescopes References Further reading McKee, Maggie. April 6, 2005. Swift measures distance to gamma ray bursts. New Scientist. Topic. External links. Swift website by NASA, GSFC. Swift website by the UK Swift Science Data Centre. Swift website by Pennsylvania State University. Swift website by Sonoma State University Gamma Ray Burst Real-Time Sky Map